Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is BC. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I welcome you. Make sure you browse all the content on my original channel of 200,000, this one and all the other ones, right? Look, I wanted to talk to you guys today about walking and why I'm such a huge fan of walking, especially the last couple years, okay? So it's 2 p.m. right now in Miami. I'm at over 8,000 steps already for the day. I woke up and typically within 30 minutes of waking up, I go for about a anywhere from a 30 to about 45, 50 minute walk where I get anywhere from four to 5,000 steps roughly, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. So that basically bangs out half of the steps that I need for a day. If I go to the gym and do other stuff, I'll typically get the other four or 5,000 there, but that's the benchmark, right? And this is coming from somebody who used to detest walking. I would rather go run sprints for 10 or 15 minutes, do the Stairmaster or do anything else but walk because I've always been a high intensity dude. I'm an ex-professional athlete. I wanted to run and jump and do this. And then when I was at home, I wanted to rest, sit and not walk at all. So I used to just detest walking. So a lot of people that used to know me before that would see this video or hear me talk about it are going to be like, dude, what, what are you talking about, right? So here's why I'm such a big fan. The number one thing is this. When we engage, especially if you're like me where you like calisthenics, maybe you do CrossFit and you like doing these short, high-intensity trainings and this and that, understand that that fries your central nervous system and your body overall. And you start building up all this excess fatigue to where later on, your body's just broken down. It's not gonna operate as good and you're always pushing, and I get it, right? Because you might be like me, we wanna push it, push it, push it, push it. And where walking comes in is, it's a great form of exercise, but it's the antithesis of that. It's great exercise. It's a great way for you to move without beating yourself up, without beating your body down. And again, as I'm getting older now and I'm learning more, right, and I'm listening to my body more, this is making a lot more sense and I'm feeling better. Because man, up until recently, I pushed so hard, especially in calisthenics, I wasn't even really aware of burning out your central nervous system. So I'm like hitting all these plateaus with you know weighted calisthenics, like weighted dips and pull-ups. And I'm like, man, what the hell is going on? How come I'm not progressing? Like I'm strong as shit, I'm low body fat. Like, man, I should be just destroying these workouts and progressing like crazy. But the reality was I was just frying my system. So when I started to understand that more, scale back a bit on the workouts, but add a lot more walking, not only have I maintained my ability to stay sub 10% body fat, I've probably gotten leaner, but more importantly, I feel better, right? And you can insert walks into whatever you do. When you make a call, walk and stand instead of sitting. In between your sets at the gym, walk around. Every couple hours, if you're a homebody, go out and walk for 10 or 15 minutes, because if you do that two or three times, guess what? You just got a half an hour walk or more, right? Same thing, right after I eat, I have a rule. I'm not gonna sit down and just like watch TV or be on the computer unless I walk for at least 10 or 15 minutes, regardless if I eat a little bit or a lot, right? A lot of times when I'm out now and I eat, I wanna be under the sun or, or walk around while I eat or at least be standing while I eat. So I'm standing more and walking versus just sitting. We live a very sedentary life, right? If you just work out for 30 minutes or an hour a day and then you work the office job or you sit at home all day, you're still sedentary. You're only working out one hour a day. The lion's share of your time is still spent sitting, right? So understand it from the perspective, this first one that I told you, but secondly, it's a very easy way to over time, lean out, burn a lot more calories and just remain active overall. Like I love when I travel, because I usually travel a lot for my real estate team and some of my career stuff, I love the fact that I can walk through the airport and like walk around in these new cities that I go to and stay in the downtown in an Airbnb and just walk. I love that. And I usually feel very good doing that. And I notice that when I'm on these trips, yeah, everything is off a little bit. You might work out less and your eating schedule might be different, but I feel like I get leaner on these trips. And one of the main reasons is that I walk a lot. You know, if I normally walk eight, 10,000 steps or whatever it is, typically on these trips, I'm walking 15 or 20,000 steps because of the airport travel and just the proximity of where I'm at, not having my car and the conveniences and just getting out there and exploring, right? So I'm just giving you kind of my anecdotal experience and my personal experience, but walking 
especially 10,000 steps a day, is easily achievable for most people. If you do the thing that I said where, think of it in two increments. One, I wake up, I do like a 30, 45 minute walk in the morning at a decent pace. If you do that and then like you go to the gym for 45 minutes or an hour and then walk in between your sets and walk the whole time, I guarantee you at the end of that, you'll at least be at like 8,000 steps just doing that. And that'll be your walking for the day to hit this eight or 10,000 step goal. I recommend 10,000, but understand that when you do that, track this for 30 days, I guarantee you all of you are gonna feel better and you're for sure, if you're not already super lean, you're gonna lose weight and tone up. That I can guarantee, unless you just eat like absolute garbage. I'm not recommending this as a miracle or a cure-all, be-all, but this is an addition because I've gone from being predominantly exercising a lot high intensity to doing more like calisthenics and not running as much and jumping as I used to, but walking a lot. And I'm not really seeing too much of a difference in my physique and the way that I feel. If anything, I feel better now because I'm not beating my body to death. I'm not frying my central nervous system, right? I'm not sure scientifically what it is. Maybe your cortisol is always up. I'm not quite sure that's why I'm not saying it, but overall I feel so much better. The second way, incorporating a lot more walking, okay? So hopefully this helps you. 10,000 steps a day for me has been a game changer. I hope it does the same for you. Um, if you guys have any other tips, if you've been walking for a long time or there's anything you wanna share, go ahead and leave it in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace.